Welcome to the UMB Fueling You video series. Hi, I'm Ellen McIntosh, dietitian at the Student Health Centre, and today we're talking about energy. Students are always looking for ways of getting more energy because they're often pretty tired out with workload and late nights and worries. So today we're going to talk about how to increase your energy level. If it's uh, if your decrease in energy level is associated with any other medical issues, then you would need to come and see a doctor at the Student Health Centre. If you're looking for ways to increase your energy level, listen on. Your body and brain use food as fuel. So if you're not getting the right fuel, your body's not going to have energy and you're probably not going to have brain power. The first thing is to consider the food guide as your framework for healthy eating. Getting foods from all four food groups is the only way to ensure balance of nutrients and carbohydrates and proteins and fats that your body need. Number one is grains. Carbohydrates are the preferred source of energy for your brain and for your body, so you have to include grains at all three meals. Number two is protein. Getting enough protein is important as well as a variety of protein sources. Two important nutrients from the protein food group are, on, are iron and B12, and those are scattered among the protein foods. So, especially for vegetarians, it's really important to get in lots of variety from that food group. Number three is milk. If you're not getting two to three servings of milk products a day, then you really should be thinking about taking a vitamin D supplement just to make sure you're getting enough vitamin D, especially during the winter when we're not getting much sunshine. The second thing is meal structure. Eat breakfast and every four hours to give your brain and body the constant source of fuel that it needs. Pack foods for the day when you come to campus. Avoid the pitfalls of relying on high sugar snacks and coffee to keep you going. These will actually cause more problems with fatigue because what you really need is the nutrients from the food to give you energy. And don't forget to drink water. You need about one to two liters of water a day. Dehydration is actually one of the most common causes for fatigue. And then finally, exercise. Research has proven that exercise will actually reduce fatigue. Just by including a half hour to an hour of exercise a day, you will find you'll have more energy. Feel free to stop into the Student Health Center and get your own copy of Canada's Food Guide or the Vegetarian Food Guide. I hope this helps you to maximize your energy level so you can have a great year this year at UMB. Thanks.